And there we are, right back with clean gloves on <laughs> and ready to go. So uh, let's first uh, fill the uh, the torch. Just uh, for the newcomers, it is a creme brulee torch, a chef's torch. It says there, but as you can see, there's a little bit of paint on there. But these are used for in the kitchen to uh, make the sugar go turn brown and crispy. So um, that's what I use. If you have one where it's spitting the flame, um, way, way, way back in the beginning, I, I, I thought I had one that was uh, broke because it was spitting flames all over the place. It's just because you've overfilled it. So don't throw it out. All you have to do is turn it on and let it totally empty so that it's totally, totally empty. Then you fill it and only for three seconds, like one, two, three, that's it. And you'll see that it works like a charm. So um, this one here is going to be uh, the white background. Then I'm going to get my syringe, fill it up with all those beautiful colors. And we're going to do some syringe work. So first off, spreading out the uh, the paint. This time I'm going to make it a little thicker because I would really like that my uh, paint is going to feather out. I have done that one time where it really worked out beautifully. And I would really like, the, I like it to do that again. So I'm going to make like I'm doing a cake. That's a lot of paint. That's good. And I will do the sides later. There we go. There it is. A little bit in the hole here. Okay, that's enough. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of little air bubbles in there because I just mixed up this paint. And all you have to do is get your little torch and go over it. And you'll see that most of those little air bubbles will be gone. There it is. Now the syringe. What I really want to do is get a lot of color in there. So I'm going to, I know I'm going to start with the dark blue. So pouring it in. But I'm going to do a lot of layers of color, so you won't be seeing this. You'll just be seeing my hand doing all the filling of the syringe, as you can see right there. So all the colors all in a row. Got to make sure I don't spill it on the, uh, on the canvas. And I want to double up, so all the little bits I'm adding I'm going to do that twice. A light blue, a little bit more of the light blue, and then a little bit more of that dark blue. I think I have enough. So as you can see, it's pretty much filled up. And now I'm going to put in that plunge thing. I'm going to turn it around, make the air go up. Oops, it came out a little bit. Okay, here we are, ready to go. Are you guys ready? Here we go. I'm gonna really do it with a little bit of pressure. Here we go. Liking it. But that's a lot of paint. Now I'm, I just gave it a little torch because maybe it'll just work a little. So that's what I'm hoping for. Moving it all around just a little bit. Oh, this would have been a really beautiful pour if I covered the whole thing. Don't you think? This is beautiful. Okay. Now. Now I need a little straw. I'm not going to do this with my uh, airbrush. Straws, where are you? Okay, let's see what happens. First, I just want to watch, see what it does. It's not doing much. It's not really going into the, uh, the background color. So. Okay. 
giving it a little help. Because when I when you do this with the airbrush, it's gonna paint's gonna be flying. I'm pretty sure about that. That's kind of wild, <laughs> right, guys? This is looking really wild, but it has something to it. Gotta say that. Now I'm going to torch what I just blew on there on the sides. See if I can create a few little um, cells, okay? And now I need my bamboo stick because I'm still not really thinking, ooh, this is it. Just, ooh, gotta really keep my hand steady. And what I don't like is that it is sort of getting jaggedy. Don't know why that is. I guess it's just, you know, the way the uh, the paint is. Let's pull it up a little bit more. There it goes. Ooh, there's some nice dark under there. That's nice. I'm not going to do this all around, only at the corners, because I think that is uh, that balances it out pretty much. And around here. That's it. It's nice and wild. I think this is uh, how I like it. I'm not going to do anything more to it. I'm just going to touch up the sides when I'm, uh, I think it's totally done. Yeah, it's totally done. Okay, let me put it away because I do want to do a couple of squashes. And I'd like to do a lot of this color. Got to make sure I don't get those little things in there, the little poopies. Don't want the poopies in. Let's put that smack in the middle there. And we're going to press one on top, make a little sandwich, make it all come out at the sides, then open that up. That has a whole new sort of a feel to it. This is much different than the swipe. As you can see, it's sort of more flowy. But also a little bit less definition in the, uh, in the uh, pattern with the colors. This one will sell up just a little bit more different because of the uh, a lot of white that is left on there, so we're going to keep these. Never know what you can use them for. And always a lot of people ask me, uh, can you just press something down in the, uh, in the paint? Well, sure I can. Let's do that. So I'm going to add a little bit of white. like that 
and then press it in. And that's sort of the same that you get when you press two pieces together. This will uh, sell up a little more because there's more white on top. And I see that there is something swimming in there here. Don't know what it is. That's okay. We can always use this bit. It's kind of pretty. And the last one, which I will just press down here, pull it up. Oh, missed a bit. Uh, this will have to have a little bit of white. Let's just do a little swipe. Cleaning off the palette knife. Swiping it over. And there we go. So at the end of this uh, video, guys, I'll give you a link to a golden oldie. I'm going to do that every now and then. Not too much, of course. Not every single video. But just, you know, to bring back some of the old ones. So uh, at the end, there will be a little uh, image of an older, older uh, pour I did. And you can just click on it and it'll take you right to it. So that's as easy as pie. So this is the uh, last one I'm going to do today, although I have a lot of paint left over. I just might do one more, a, a, a 30 by 30. And these are beautiful colors to put one of those Nautilus, Nautilus shells on. Um, a lot of people been asking me about those transfers. Yes. Let me get into that. Um, even though I really, really appreciate, guys, you mailing me with uh, advice there were some people that mailed me and said you cannot do that on YouTube you cannot use that transfer you cannot do this you cannot do that um, <laughs> uh, they are right if if you take the image just off the internet if you google an image and you download it and use it there's uh, you're gonna bump into some copyright stuff and you cannot do that but Guys, I've been doing this my whole life pretty much, so I know which images I can use and which I can't. And um, if you go over to www.pixabay.com, every single uh, image you see there, you can use. Let me write it down. Because this is important. You don't want to get in trouble doing art. So um, this is where you go to www.pixabay.com. So go over there and every single image you see, you can use, even if you make money off of it. And that's, um, that's a whole new concept because uh, I have a whole bunch of uh, stuff I, I made. I've, I've mentioned this a couple of times, but when I before I even started pouring, um, because I went to stock sites like uh, Future Picks and, and all these stock things, you know, and you have to pay a lot of money for an image. And I'm thinking, you know, who can pay for that? That's a lot of money. Then I stumbled ac across Pixabay, and ev every artist that posts on there, they just, you know, like sharing their stuff. So I started making a lot of images uh, for on there. So you can look me up on that site. And everything that you see, you can use commercially or in art projects. Schools uh, sign up because they use it for school projects. So whatever you like, you can download and use. That's where I found the Nautilus shell and the, and the, um, the turtles and all that stuff. So you can go there, download, use it. No problem. So thank you all for watching, guys. Hoping you have a really beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Love you all to pieces, and I'll see you in the next video.